the age of the invention describes it as a monument of life, 120 meters high. The magnificent dirty wheel to our right hand side with the six pillars is called the General Post Office. Daniel O'Connell, not and Daniel O'Donnell. started off in 1592 under the instructions of Queen Elizabeth I. Since that time, Trinity College has produced many fine graduates and went on to Oxford and became the toast of London society. Later on, he became involved in a homosexual affair and was sentenced to two years imprisonment in Reading Jail. Still on the right hand side, beyond the Leinster House, we have the Natural History Museum, or as Dublin people call it, the Dead Sea. And still further on on the right hand side, that magnificent building that you see, formerly the College of Science, it's now the office of the Taoiseach, or Prime Minister of Ireland. I'm trying to look at my Mary Street, and the left hand side, just beside the Marion Hotel, is the dark place of the Duke of Wellington, Michael Lowe, who will be mentioned once again as we travel on the journey. Now, it's going to do less Minister, and many of the people of wealth and influence are leaving Wellington to Wellington. Just up here on the right hand side, is one of the most photographed doors in Dublin. Number 46, beautiful black and white door on the right hand side. Look closely at it. See how it's beautiful. Especially the door, especially crafted to commemorate the visit of Edward VII to Ireland in 1907. If you look closely, you can see another major difference. It's a double door. The reason was that the custom of the time was that you opened all the double doors to receive light. On your left, this Georgian square is the only one left in private terms. It's the only square, not the different Georgian square at this time. Again we turn. On the right hand side is the majestic Shelburne Hotel, whose guests included John F. Kennedy, Cheers. Sally Cockles and Muscles. Alive, alive, bloody go. Cockles and Muscles. Dublin, 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 Dublin,
Stalker, who wrote Dracula, and the man who revolutionized the world of letters, James Joyce. Thank you. 